the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for the 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Emma. I'm Dylan. And I'm Aubrey with Gene and your Grizzly News Network. Today is Friday, February 9th, 2024. Grizzlies, it's Super Bowl weekend, and for the first time ever, it is being held right here in Las Vegas. There is a lot going on for this big game. The San Francisco, fr sorry, the San Francisco 49ers will face the reigning champs, the Kansas City Chiefs. Which team is the favorite to win? And what is the playing? Who is the player that's most likely to win MVP? ESPN 64 experts have predicted final score of 27 to 24, with the Chiefs winning once again. Patrick Mahomes was also their most favored to win MVP. The 49ers seemed to seem like the people kick pick through, with many supporters being seen around the strip rooting for the 49ers. Will the Chiefs win as expected, or will there be a major upset? This Sunday after the game at three, we will know. Grizzlies, are you going to the Super Bowl? Well, if you don't, there are many things you can do still around here to have a fun on this big day. Guy Fieri is hosting a Flavor Town tailgate for all locals, including you. Many different pop-ups are available for our famous diners, drive-ins, and dives, like Guy Culinary and Guy's Installations. This project has been in week working for weeks just for the Las Vegas Valley. Entry tickets are $49.99, and the food entry is $119.99. If you need more information, visit GuysFlavorTownTailgate.com. Don't miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. See you there, Grizzlies. Many people watch the Super Bowl to also enjoy the halftime performance. And this year, Usher plans to deliver. In the past, there has been performances from The weekend, Rihanna, and Maroon 5. This year, Usher is going to be the performer, and he claims for the performance, he is going to be on skates. Along with that, we will, he will be the first independent artist to take the stage. Millions of people tune into the Super Bowl every year to see some of the most creative commercial created. These causes adds to cost near record level amount of money. The average cost for an ad at the NFL biggest games of the year is $7 million. Just a decade ago, there will be going for $4 million. These prices are crazy for 30 seconds of advertisement. The first big game of Las Vegas has brought alliance to add thousands of airline seats because of its high demand. From Thursday through Sunday, 400,000 seats and travelers are arriving here in the city. This is twice as much as last year's hosts in the city of Glendale, Arizona. So how does this cause problems? It is mainly because increased road trip prices and driving around the strip. So if you're watching the game on telev television, just know you are just still spectating in the host city right at the comfort of home. And the NFL is leaving a last impact here in our city. The NFL Legacy Grant Program, partnering with Las Vegas Super Bowl 57 Host Committee, is dividing $3 million among 88 nonprofits. The YMCA being one of, the, one of these got $58,000 to boost their program. This is a huge stepping stone for Las Vegas as a community. Hey Emma, what's going on with the exciting announcement? Grizzlies, check this out. We have our first look at our new yearbook cover for this year. The theme for this year is Built Different, and as you can see, the cover embodies the idea with a grizzly bear that is built by pieces of bright colored shapes. The cover has an upgraded feel to it as well with some grit and glossy areas, so make sure you secure your copy now. A reminder, your books are still $90 right now, and you can get yours at jostens.com. To help celebrate Black History Month, next week, BSU will have a Spirit Week. Monday, dress up at
to support your favorite team for Jersey Day. Tuesday is I Have a Dream Day, and they are asking you to dream about your future and dress as your dream profession. On Wednesday, find your soulmate and match shoes and your whole outfit if you want. On Thursday is Throwback Thursday with the 90s day, so pull out your flannels and loose jeans and concert tees. Finally, on Friday, show off your culture swag day, so embrace your roots. We hope you will participate next week. The talent show is back, and they are looking for your talent. The last day for auditions for the BSU talent show are Monday, 12th. Tryouts start at 2 p.m. and last until 3.30 p.m. All auditions will be held in room 326, so quickly get your routine together and show up in to be included in the show. You are running out of time to secure a valentine for your valentine. Candy grams will be sold for Valentine's Day by BSU and Stucco. The last days to buy are today and Monday in the quads during both lunches. There will be three different price ranges, $1, $2, and $3, and they will be giving out on the 14th during the last period. You will need to have the first and last name of the person receiving the gram as well as their grade level. Or you can get your valentine a flower. NHS will be selling carnations for $1 during both lunches on February 13th and 14th, so plan on buying a flower for the special someone. There are several clubs meeting today. Fosu will be hosting a Filipino cooking game in room three, 200. Fashion Club will meet today. They discuss popular trends and check out lookbooks in room 832. Gaming Club is meeting in the library, where they play everything from board games to video games. And Chinese Club will meet again next week in room 205. Robotics is kicking back off, and they will be meeting in room 505A. Fiber Arts Clubs tackles everything from bracelet making to knitting in room 813. Japanese Club meets in room 207 every other week, and Korean Club meets in room 207. Spanish Honor Society will meet every other week in room 914. All meetings start at 201 p.m., so get out there and explore some new clubs you can join. Hey Grizzlies, this Friday, come join Badminton Club. Badminton Club will have new equipment and snacks for you. You don't need to have any experience playing. We teach you. We will meet in room cafeteria at 2.05. Let's have some fun playing badminton. These past weekend, over 125 delegates arrived on Spring Valley's campus for the 10th annual Las Vegas Model UN conference. Check out our impressive Spring Valley delegates. There was lively debate, country policy discussions, and resolutions made. It was an amazing day. We had nine Spring Valley MUNers win awards. For research awards, I had Adam, Julian, and David received awards. For commendation, Jack and David were awarded. We had five outstanding delicate awards for B, Gia, Adam, Robert, and Jenna. Congratulations to all of your hard work. One of our sophomores needs your help with their Project Y. Layla is collecting money for the Las Vegas Valley Humane Society. She is collecting money that will go towards supplies for the pets to help them better their experience at the shelters. It gives the shelter the resources they need to protect more pets and strays from being euthanized. To donate, scan the QR code on screen or just to check out their page. When making a donation, make sure to write in the comments Spring Valley so they are aware the funds are coming from the school. Seniors, with the cold weather during the winter months, we will be selling midway open leg sweatpants. Celebrate your last year of high school in style. Sweatpants are $25, cash only, and must be paid for at the banker. After purchasing, please upload a picture of your receipt using the QR code below. Sweatpants will be delivered to you by the end of the month. Hey Dylan, what's going on with sports this week? Well, attention all 9th, 10th, and 11th graders who would like to be part of a 2024 Grizzly football program. Join the returning letter winners as they prepare for the fall season getting bigger, faster, stronger. The team workouts are Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 2.30 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. More information can be had by contacting Coach Teal. Softball players, get ready. Softball intramurals are currently going on Monday through Thursdays, 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. Charts will be Saturday, February 17th at 9 a.m. for newcomers from 9 and 10th graders and 10.30 a.m. for returning players in 11th and 12th grade. Mark your calendars. We want to wish our cheer team good luck this weekend. Our, our varsity competition team will be here on campus competing in the all-girl advanced division PCS competition. This competition is for all local cheer teams, but they are preparing for the big competition next week in Anaheim for USA Nationals. In national sports news, Lamar Jackson won MVP of the NFL this Thursday. He's the second of quarterback to win 49 out of the 50 MVP votes. His excellent play this year has earned him a $260 million five-year deal to the Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson said he's finally he's glad to finally get a deal done with the Ravens, but we'll see next year whether he could get his team to a Super Bowl. 
In local sports news, Las Vegas is getting ready to welcome a new professional sports team. But in order for the A's to have a place to play, we have to say goodbye to a local casino. The Tropicana Resort is not only known as a casino, it has also been a landmark for Las Vegas since 1957 being the third to open in the city. But in recent news, the hotel is preparing for demolition later this year to make room for a 1.5 billion major league baseball stadium. The last day to book hotel room will be on April 2nd, which is the same day the casino will close for good. So the next time you drive towards the strip on Tropicana Avenue, just remember the namesake of it that will soon become a gone but not a forgotten part of history. While we're, getting, while we're still getting ready for the Super Bowl, the rest of the country is preparing for the 2026 FIFA World Cup. This week it was announced where the final will be held and how many games each stadium will get. Our U.S. men's national team will start the tournament in Los Angeles at the SoFi Stadium. The Mexican national team has their first game in Mexico City at the Estadio Azteca. And the Canadians will start in Vancouver. The final was between Dallas's AT&T Stadium and New Jersey's MetLife. The World Cup final, which has been held in iconic cities like Paris, London, Madrid, Rio de Janeiro, Berlin, will be held in Rutherford, New Jersey. Hey Nick, what's the weather looking like for the rest of the week? Thanks Dylan. What's up everyone? It's your Wicked Weatherman back with another Wicked Weather story. Today we'll have a high of 50 and a low of 36. Tomorrow we'll have a high of 51 and a low of 37. On Sunday we'll have a high of 52 and a low of 34. On Monday, however, hear me out, hear me out. 55 is the high and 34 is the low. Grizzlies, as the Lunar New Year is coming up for the February 10th, you might wonder what to celebrate this holiday. There are numerous venues such as the Bellagio Bontanautical Gardens Year of the Dragon Display, Downtown Summerlin's Lunar New Year Parade on the 9th, Lion and Dragon Dances Resorts World, Durango Palace Station, Red Rock Casino, and Green Valley Ranch. However, you might celebrate the upcoming New Year. We hope you do safely, Grizzlies. Now back to you at the desk. Attention Grizzlies, there will be a new food truck on campus during both lunches every Friday. Food Therapy LV sells garlic noodles and bomb my fries for a choice of chicken and beef for $10. There will also be a free egg roll for every purchase. Make Friday extra special by grabbing your delicious lunch near the portables. Your taste buds and the senior class will thank you. Grizzlies, quench your thirst with the refreshing treats from Smooth King. They are selling at both lunches for cash and car are accepted. We've got a variety of flavors to keep you cool. Angel Food, Island Impact, and Pineapple Surf will all be sold for $5. Additionally, you can purchase Celsius Energy Drinks for a midday pick-me-up. Pick Enjoy a delicious treat while you also support the senior class. Hey Grizzlies, Wendy's is offering free cheeseburgers this week. If you download the Wendy's app and use the offer on qualifying restaurants until February 12th, you can get a free Wendy's single cheeseburger. You can also be a qualified to get a no delivery free if you use the deal on Super Bowl Sunday. So be sure to grab the deal while you can, Grizzlies. Prom season is just a few weeks, few months away, and the nonprofit project 150 is already getting ready. They are accepting donations of new or gently used formal attire. About 2,000 students every year benefit from this event. There are two locations where you can donate on Rancho and Flamingo. You have until February 28th to make donations, Grizzlies. This was Emma, Aubrey, Dylan, and Nick of, of the, the Grizzly, Grizzly News Network. Network. Have, have a fantastic, fantastic Friday, Friday, Grizzlies. Grizzlies.